Welcome to Day 4 of the ACF Certified Master Chef Exam held at Schoolcraft College in Livonia, Michigan. Today, eight candidates will be evaluated on their ability to understand, interpret, and execute the cooking philosophy of Auguste Escoffier and his classical cuisine demonstrated in his cookbook, Le Guide Culinaire. Each candidate will be required to develop a three-course menu that includes a soup course, fish course, and entree. So today um, the chefs are showing their proficiency in the classical cuisine taken from Escoffier's modern culinary art. And they have to show proficiency in butchery, sauce making, fish cooking, all the cooking, all the classical fundamentals that we need to have to be a master. Today in their basket they got a 10 pound fresh cod and five sides of lamb racks, which they had to create their own menu following the consomme that they were presented with to make a themed menu and that made sense and they had to prepare that from start to finish, fabrication of the cod, fabrication of the lamb, proper cooking procedures and the, also the sauce making. All of that has to be taken into account. Time management is important. Uh, it's, it's one of the most important things within this evaluation process or doing the test. Uh, if you don't have all your, uh, everything scheduled out of when you're supposed to do it, you end up falling behind and once you fall behind, it's actually, that's when it's a problem for the candidates because uh, then they're rushed and they can't do things like they should be. An important success factor for the candidates in the kitchen is their mise en place, both mental mise en place and their physical mise en place. Mental being their game plan, how they're going to utilize their time, and their physical being the gathering of their pots, pans, and ingredients. Without good mise en place, the chefs will struggle throughout the day, and the day becomes confusing. So organizing that time, organizing that will reduce trips to and from the pot rack to the spice counter to the dish area, and working with their apprentice to help keep them organized will lead them to success throughout the day.
As the chefs enter their plate up window, there's many things that go through their mind. They gotta think about their platters, their timing of their cooking, their mise en place as far as their uh, finishing pans, their little sauce pots and pans, their plate up spoons, their tongs or utensils. Communication with the apprentice is extremely important during this time. If they don't work well together, they'll end up running into each other and uh, having a little bit of struggle. They have 30 minutes to plate all their courses and without proper organization, the intensity can become overwhelming. We lose focus on the cooking techniques and the nice finishes that they can apply. So organization at this time is crucial to their success as they put up their foods for tasting and then their platters for evaluation. Thank you for joining us for today's evaluation. Candidates have received their next day competencies and have submitted their food orders. They will be ready to return for the next day's challenge. This has been a Schoolcraft College Media Services production.